Hi folks, co-tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. So far, whatever the coroutines that we have run, they have run in single threaded model. What do I mean by that? This is the same old code that we have been seeing for some time and this is the invocation of the suspend function and if I run this, you can see that the main thread ended but the coroutine is still running in the main thread and then the coroutine ends. If I want to visually represent this, this is how it would look like. You have a main thread and then you start your main function and after that you start your core routine and the core routine ends. No surprises, this is what you have seen so far. However, it is possible for you to basically force a core routine to run on a different thread that is multi-threaded core routines. Now what do I mean by this? It basically means you have a main thread and then you start your main function and then you start your core routine but somewhere while executing core routine you decide to switch to a new thread and then resume the execution of the core routine on a different thread. So you start from the main thread but you don't end on the main thread you end on the a completely new thread and this is what we are going to look at through a demo. So let's get into a demo. So I will just modify the existing code now. This particular thing is executing on the main thread. What I will now do is I will force this part of the code to execute on a different thread. So what I will do is there is this option called as with context and then you can give coroutine dispatcher that is dispatchers dot you can tell where you want your core routine to run so right now i will choose default and then i will write a core routine scope so we are basically creating a core routine scope here and then i will just put this statement inside this new core routine scope that i have created and before clearing just want to see what was the old output it was main thread and now when i clear this and rerun the application you will observe that it is not main thread it is some different thread it is showing something like default dispatcher worker one thread you don't really have the control over what thread name you want to give it is automatically decided by the system initially the core routine started on the main thread but then when it came to this part of the code it was switched to a completely different thread and then it ended and this is what multi-threaded core routine means and if you are wondering what is this default default is telling the system to choose a default thread on its own there are other options like io unconfined and main instead of default if i put it as io and try to run it you will once again see that it runs on a separate thread once again you might be wondering why am i seeing default dispatcher worker thread maybe the io thread is default dispatcher worker thread so you don't really have a control over which particular thread gets assigned by the kotlin runtime typically io dispatcher is used to do the REST API calls, reading and writing to the databases, reading and writing to a file, those kind of things. And instead of IO, if I use something like unconfined, you are basically telling, I really don't care. If you want to use new thread, use new thread. If you don't want to use new thread, if you want to use anything that is already available, which is a main thread, then use the main thread. So it's up to the system to decide where it really wants to run that particular core routine on a main thread or on a different thread or a ui thread or any thread that might be available at that time so this is a very important concept as far as multi-threading in core routines is concerned there is one more thing that i wanted to discuss before i end this particular video if you start writing application in intellij and you try writing codes which involve coroutines, you may start getting compilation error saying that it doesn't recognize 
imports that you are writing that is delay run blocking and async the main reason why it happens is by default these core routines won't get involved won't get added to the module of your project you can add that by going to open module settings and then go to libraries click on add from maven write scotlin x dot co routine and then search for it select the one this one and then click on ok apply and now whatever the compilation errors that you were seeing those will vanish in the next video we will continue to explore coroutines that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye